Welcome to this week's Let's Talk Machines tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we take a closer look at using the units frame within the Import Database panel. To start, users can access the Import Database panel by selecting the Database option from the Import submenu found beneath the File menu. An open safe dialog window appears, and users are prompted to select the supported native or neutral formatted CAD file from their file system. After selecting a CAD model, the Import Database panel opens with the unit's frame already expanded. Units of measure and pointwise often causes users some confusion. The pointwise geometry kernel uses the scaling factor parameter and it initializes this value to 1.0 for working in units of meters. Usually the units that the CAD model was created in are embedded within the CAD file itself. If the units of measures can be determined from the file, the MIS scale factor is updated accordingly. If the CAD model was created in units of meters, and this can be determined from the CAD file, then the scale factor remains unchanged. On the other hand, if the units cannot be determined from the file, then pointwise forces this scaling parameter to remain 1 because any scaling would be meaningless. In this specific case, users are left to make a determination of what units the model was created in for themselves and apply a scaling transformation after importing the geometry. Now, if the units of measure can be determined on import, and a user has a preference to work in units other than those used when the model was created, then there is an option to apply scaling at import by using the Convert To option and selecting one of the available units of measure from the pull down menu. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.